Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to be uh, learning about how to use all the different functions that they have, or at least the more important ones. So start off by just creating a, a room, a hollowed out room, and add your spawn points. And if you don't know how to do that, go to my introduction and you'll learn that way. Um, start off by creating a box and two little buttons. Yeah, they're just boxes, it's not very hard to do. And then also create like a little I don't know, like a little archway. It, it doesn't have to be as fancy as this. It can just be a block on the ground that you can stand up onto. But anyways, we start off by using the block tool, and you're just going to create a wall um, somewhere on your map. And make it tall, like so. And there we go. And something like that. And then you're going to click Enter, and give it I don't know, I'm going to make it have a texture of sand. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this wall, click on it, and you're going to uh, press Control T, or you can go up to Tools, Tie to Entity. You're going to change this to Funk Brush, and then we'll give it a name of um, Brush, oh, let's, just, let's just call it Wall and then you're going to click apply and then close the window. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our two buttons and with the first one we're going to click control T and we're going to change it to a funk button and then you're going to click apply and on outputs you're going to put add on in target entities named wall and then you're going to press disable click apply, close it. Second one, you're doing the same thing, control T, funk button, apply, and then on outputs, again, my output named on in, target entities named wall, and this time, instead, you're going to have it enable. So basically what this is doing is it's saying when you press this button, the wall is going to disappear, it's going to disable. When you press this button, it's going to enable again. Uh, this is kind of nice if you have, if you want to have like secret walls that appear and disappear and stuff like that. You just want to control. It, it doesn't even have to be a wall. It can be some like statue or some random thing that you want to appear and disappear. But anyways, okay. So now we're going to go to our arch and we're just going to create a box inside the arch. Holding down Alt, you're going to make a little box, and then in the side view, you're going to have it like that press enter so we'll have our our box that fits inside of our arch change the texture with shift a browse and go to trigger in filter it's going to be the orange one double click on it apply um, now we're going to click on our trigger press control t and this time we're going to tie our entity to um, trigger multiple it's tr trigger underscore multiple Okay, click apply, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to outputs and add on start touch target entities named wall via this output. You can have the drop down menu and you can say disable. And then just for fun, so I'm going to teach you how to do this, you can press add again and you press on end touch wall enable so press apply and close it all this is saying is when you walk into these this trigger the wall is going to disable when you leave the trigger it's going to enable again so this is just two different ways that you can um, deal with functions you can get our buttons or you can have some sort of trigger the trigger is not going to show up on the map you're just going to walk into it okay but anyways that's the funk brush now we're going to go on to funk illusionary Create another wall, a little bit further away from the, that wall, same height, something like that. Click enter, this time give it a different, um, a different texture, browse, let's make it some sort of crazy grass. Um, let's go with this guy. 
Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it, and we're going to hit Control T again, tie it to the entity, and go down to Funk Illusionary. Funk underscore Illusionary. Click Apply. And this is a, just a really simple one. I thought that would be interesting for you guys to see. But once you tie it to Funk Illusionary, you'll see this wall. Everybody can see it. But you can walk through it is what can happen. So if you want to have like secret walls or you want to have something that like seems like it's there but you can actually walk through it, it's a good one. Um, okay. And then Funk Monitor. This one's a little more tricky. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the Entity tool, the one that looks like a person, click on it, and go down to Point Monitor, or Point Camera, Point Underscore Camera. You're going to create a camera just by clicking in the 3D view, and maybe move it up a bit. And you do that by just clicking and dragging, just like any other entity. And I think I'll see you've moved it up here. And as you see, it looks like a little camera. So what you want to do is zoom in on the bird's eye view, click in the middle, and it'll change to circles on the corners, and you can drag it so it's the camera's aimed somewhere else. I'm going to make it so it's aimed kind of at our beginning of our map so you can see on the camera, see on the monitor, that it's something over here. So you'll have that, and then create a random block that's going to be your monitor uh, with the block tool, just holding on to Alt, drag across, um, probably make it towards the ground like this. Press enter. Give it some sort of, I don't know, darker texture so it looks kind of like a monitor, maybe a concrete. So, like so. And then what you're going to do is um, holding on to shift and alt, you're going to drag it forward. All you're doing is duplicating it. But this time, you're going to make it smaller. Make it a little bit smaller in your side view than your the one you first created and make it thinner also in the bird's eye view. Now you're going to drag it towards your other one so it's only peeking out a tiny bit like that. 